Okay, guys, we've got Kathy watching Tracy. Any problems in there, she can call me on the phone, and I can come running in. So, uh, me and Mark, we built this boat stand, or this boat motor stand. Threw a bunch of 2x4s and stuff together, screwed it together, and now we can work on Skylar's motor. We pulled out the spark plug and found out it's not getting no spark, so that's why it will not run. So we got to fix that yet. But we built the stand. Then we come back here, because we don't waste no time at all. And, uh, whew, we start taking apart the tarp back here. We wanted to get the tarp off the top first, but we couldn't because it's bolted on the back. But we did get the poles out, and it all taken apart in the middle, so it's two sections now. And he's trying to get the, the pole in the back taken off. So we've got an extension on this side, an extension on this side to lower the back side down. And then you can see that this pole's good and this pole's good, but this one's a little bent, and so are these three. So that'll be, we'll have an awning at least big enough to put the bobcat under. So if we can fix any of these over here, we can have a wider awning. But, oh, Mark's over here taking out the bolt that holds this together, and we can take off this four foot extension here, and the same thing over there. And then, you can see where it broke up here. We can get that fixed, and we'll have this whole half, half of the tarp will be usable. So, we're getting her done. We've got, today is Saturday, we've got until Friday, they're coming for the new tarp, or the new, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Car, carport. So, if I get half down today, half down tomorrow, get it out of our way, taking it apart, all that kind of stuff, we're doing good. We're still in good shape. Waiting for them to appear. Um, we took out all the posts in the front. You see one against the forklift here and one on the ground here. And that side over there is just... <laughs> uh, it's still bolted on to the wall up in the corner there where... The, the wind didn't bust it off. So that's why we couldn't take the whole thing down as one piece. We tried. And I was out here holding up the whole front end. That thing's heavy. And uh, we just couldn't get it away from the wall. So figured we'd do it half at a time. And we're getting her done. We got the section down to the ground. And we're able to take it away. All I got to do is put a sleeve in between there and, and fix those two. A couple extra bolts. That'll be good to go. This whole section is good to reuse. Um, problem now. We're going to have to get like six people here because this is too wide to fit into the backyard through there so what we're gonna have to do is pretend that that back side is the bottom and have this pointing towards the sky so one person at every pole walk in that whole bottom with it pointing way up towards the sky that's how we're gonna have to walk it into the backyard that's how we got it up here we had 20 people and all of the poles pointing towards the sky <laughs> at the same time because this actually came off of the back deck it was used out there for a couple years so we are getting making progress now if we can get the tarp off the other side we'll just have the other half of the framing left uh, good deal okay so now we're done we got the tarp off you can see how badly damaged the snow load was on here so we got the tarp off we got this side down we can fix that there by we have these things here half you know it's a it's, it's a little bit smaller than the tube, and you put it in each side, and you screw it to it, you know, and that will fix that right there. So we have one more to fix over there, so i got to buy this somewhere. So i got to find this. I'd like it to go, you know, a two-foot piece, not a six-inch piece, a, a two-foot. So it goes in a foot on each side, and then we screw it to it. That would be fine. And then all these poles here, I've probably got six or so, because when we took it off the back deck, it was 40 foot. Here, it's only 30 foot. So every two foot you got more. I've probably got eight of them or six of them in the back I can use that are still straight underneath the deck. So I can swap them out. And we can make this a 30 foot, you know, uh, tarpaulin cover again in the back that we can use for another year. Just a little bit of rebuilding, that's all. So we got the tarp off, it's there. And, you know, this whole piece is off. It's sitting on the ground, we're ready to go. And we got two spots we got to fix. We're good. I think we did good. Um, these ones here, I'm going to take these off and turn them over to where they're going to point up, and then the natural weight's going to want them to come down. And then once the tarps on them, they'll they'll stay down and, and you know maybe even stick up a little bit, but they'll work. I don't have to replace these. Them I have to replace. All five of these should be as high as the end one over there. You know what I'm saying? So 
They're really bent. Okay, guys, let's go back here. I'm going to show you all the fish we got today. <sighs> Lots of new things came in. Dark in here. Okay. First off, look at this tank full of Venustas. Look at these. These are some big old guys, too. Look at you. You're a big monster, ain't you? Yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. And that plug will come in along with that sick one. Look at some of these guys. Wow. Now, these guys came in, or at least this one did, but uh, we're doing water changes on tanks so that we can fresh water on all of them. Still got a bunch of cichlids down here, smaller ones, but all over. And I can't tell what's down here. Looks like a tiger shovel nose, maybe? It's too dark for me. I can't bend over it. Okay, now we still got all these beautiful cichlids here. And another Venusis there. Then we got these guys. They just came in. This guy here. This has been in here. Okay. So, Gardner, where do you see all them we got coming in? And constantly finding homes for them. Where's the Ebonite? Haven't seen him. He's hiding in here somewhere. Oh, geez, he's right in front of me. There he is. He thinks if he's hiding his face, you can't see him. <laughs> Too funny. Of course, we got Tesla. He's always fun to watch. I love how majestic his fins move underneath. The baby air pine is getting thick and big. The African arrow is getting real thick. Hi, TJ. Hi, buddy. All right, let's see how this is going over here. Look how well these guys are all going. All these plants are now growing really clean. Josh did a really good job over here. Oh, one of the puffers are out. What's up, buddy? You're so cute. Uh, plants are overtaking everything. They're just growing everywhere. They're doing good. Hi, Hubert. Just chilling. And of course, the gooch still in his spot, and the jowl still in his spot. All the baby rays. Down here. Over here. We got that gar in here now. Look how big this tarpon's getting. He's getting big. That's about two foot right there. All the white guys are all hanging out together. All the yellow guys are hanging out together. That's crazy. Let's go out here. This tank. You got stuff in there in every one of these caves. You got stuff hiding inside of all the way down.
The plants are just absolutely taking off. Look at this beast lily. Flowering like crazy. Kathy's plants are even starting to grow here. We got one more night at 39 degrees and I think we can take the plants out. They can still live if it gets down to 50 degrees at night. But 39 is just a little too cold for them. Aren't you getting big? Look at all the bass are up here looking for food. All right. Look at you. You're just gorgeous, ain't you? You're gonna be nice looking too. Oh, look at this guy. Long, long fins. Oh, yeah, we can't not see the sturgeon. That is just amazing. The colors on him, diamond bag, just amazing. All right. Yeah, look at all the leaves of this thing. Uh, someone had mentioned to me to leave the plants in here because they're doing good. Um, I'm sorry, but they are absolutely wrong. They're growing small in here with two-foot leaves. Outside, they grow. When they're in that full sun, they get like four-foot leaves. Huge leaves. They get huge outside. Every summer, I take them out. And then they grow, you know, okay during the winter. As soon as I take them outside, man, they open up. See what's how's it going back here? Oh, he's got a jardini in here now. Gone are the days when my geophagus would just make this tank beautiful. Look how big and fat you're getting. And where is Lone Star? Ouch. Hard to see. Oh, there he is, right there. That's his face. That's his body line. Okay. Well, sorry this video is a little shorter today, but nobody showed up here. It's Sunday, and uh, nobody came here, and nobody's watching Tracy, so I couldn't really get out here. I just got done changing her and fed her her 4 o'clock meal, and... Uh, Kathy happened to come through, so I asked her to watch her for a second. I had to come running out here and make a video. So, hope you guys like it. Look at how this is just turning out to be a jungle in here. I love it. So, till next video, stay fishy, my friends.